after eight mints, moving up through pea and ham soup, crossing through hairspray, up to jam roly poly, jam sponge and minced beef, fresh peach, spam and chocolate, putrid meat, tofu, and finally up to dolly mixtures. My name's James Wallison. I'm a taste synesthete, and I have synesthesia. A synesthesia is a neurological condition whereby you get uh, stimulation in one sense, say you hear something, and that automatically and involuntary causes a, a, a reaction in another sense. And in my particular case, uh, what I have is I, whenever I hear a sound, it automatically causes a, a taste sensation on my tongue. It's as though I'm, I'm eating the stuff. What I've got here is I've got a, a map of the London underground system, um, including Docklands Light Railway and the overground. Um, what it represents is my interpretation of each of these stations. Um, and what I've done here is I've replaced each of the station names with their uh, synesthetic taste. Over the years, because bear in mind I've been doing this since 1964, so I've built up a total list here of uh, each and every station. Because I mean, I've been to all of these and I've verified all of these tastes. These are, these are the, the tastes that come with the station. The idea I had was to produce this for universities so they could use it as a way of teaching um, students what synesthesia was about. And also, um, it can well, it's a very good way of illustrating the link between taste synesthesia, which is what I've got, and language acquisition. This place here now is, uh, is Chapter Road, it's Dollis Hill Tube Station. To me it's where it all began, um, it's where my strongest synesthetic memories are from. From then on in that's when I began collecting the, the tastes of tube stations. An incredible feeling. The next station is Tottenham Court Road. When I'm travelling around, I have um, built up a, a couple of favourites, I have to admit. I mean, that's natural. Tottenham Court Road is one that particularly springs to mind. I mean, I love that station. I always have done. And the reason is that Tottenham Court Road produces the, uh, the sound of those, those three words, produces the fantastic taste of sausage and beautifully cooked egg. Absolutely beautiful. Done just right. It's like a breakfast. There are some bad ones. I don't. I hate Bond Street. I absolutely detest it. Tell you what it tastes like. It's a bit like having um, spray, aerosol spray. A big cloud of it here. Mm. The next station is Kilburn. One of the places I've always had difficulty with has been Kilburn. Kilburn and Kilburn High Road because there's two of them. Now they come with a taste that is absolutely revolting. It's like putrid meat is the best way of describing it. Slimy putrid meat. I mean, how horrible is that? <laughs> this is a fairly typical example of how um, my synesthesia would affect me. We've been travelling around on the tube today <clears throat> and uh, a couple of the tube stations have created what I can only call a craving. This one here, for example, It's Finchley, Finchley Road. <laughs> Cooing of that pigeon tastes like um, processed peas. <laughs> Would I like to have it taken away? Well, the straight answer to that is no, I wouldn't. Um, the extra perception on balance, I find very, very enjoyable. Uh, it's not enjoyable all of the time, but I've got my own distraction techniques. I can, I can tone it down. I've had it for long enough. Um, I wouldn't have it, have it taken away, and it's a question I've asked synesthetes through the years myself, and I've come across maybe one or two who find it that intrusive that they wouldn't mind a rest from it. 